I'll admit, this game wasn't even on my radar two weeks ago. It wasn't until I made my video, which none of you watched, by the way, <laughs> and was researching major release dates that I came across this game, Grand Blue Fantasy. Then all of a sudden, when the demo came out a few days ago, my YouTube feed was on fire with people just talking about how jaw-droppingly awesome this game was. So I decided to dive in myself. And after playing the entire demo start to finish, I can very clearly say, I don't get the hype. So today I wanna to share with you what this game is, what this game is not, how it plays, and help you decide if this is something you wanna put on your calendar because it's coming out really, really soon. If you know nothing about this game, I don't blame you if you haven't been actively following it. It basically came out of nowhere. This is a full-on party-based JRPG made by Cry Games. Originally, it was announced in August 2016 as Grand Blue Fantasy Project Relink. Set in the same fictional realm as the original Grand Blue Fantasy, Relink takes place in a different location, but it features some characters from the original game. In 2017, we saw our first public gameplay, and it revealed that the game includes options for four-person cooperative multiplayer or single-player play with three AI characters. The official title, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, was revealed in December 2018, so this has been in development for a while, and it was originally scheduled to release in 2022, and then the game's launch was delayed now out to 2024. And here we are with a full release coming out on February 1st, and there's a full playable demo on PlayStation. Also, according to Steam, the game unlocks there on January 31st. Not sure why that's different. So if you wanted to get it a day early on PC, there you go. Okay, so what's the deal here? This is an action JRPG through and through. The art style is very reminiscent with Tales of Arise, I would say. And there's some Xenoblade vibes in there as well. The demo has tons of characters unlocked. You can swap in and out of your party and all special powers, abilities, all that other stuff is unlocked for you in the demo. So in the demo, you're already super strong, like kind of OP, much, much, much stronger than your enemies. Wasn't a ton of challenge here for me, which probably was some of the problem. I'm guessing that's because the characters were so stacked, but I'm not really entirely sure. The combat feels closest to, I suppose, Final Fantasy 16, in that it's really all about button mashing combos and then firing off special moves. There's four, one assigned to each button that go on cooldown, of course. Some of those heal, some buff your defense, and some are just super attacks. But I honestly didn't love it. As you can see here, it felt really chaotic and not in a good way. Like I just sort of felt like I was mashing buttons without a ton of strategy or tactics, stringing combos together. And unlike something like Final Fantasy 15 or Final Fantasy 7 Remake, you have no control over the rest of your party once you're in battle. Before battle, you can change everything about your party from the weapons they use to what attacks they're equipped with. But once the battle starts, your agency is over there. So everyone is just swinging their swords and staffs around in this manic way. It feels like chaos. I felt like I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Every so often you would trigger a joint attack somehow. It was really too chaotic to tell how this was happening. So you mash the circle button when that prompt came up and you would just like do it. And then you have this skybound arts gauge in the upper left that goes up as you land attacks. Once it's full, you can trigger a devastating, cinematic looking attack. And if everyone in your party is approaching the 100% at the same time, you can link them together and really lay the smack down. Visually, this game has a lot going for it. It's colorful and there's a ton of flair to the attacks. I mean, you can see it. I mean, it, it's good to look at. And the boss battles are 100% a highlight. Like those are cool. They're huge, intimidating monsters with gigantic health bars. But this is not Monster Hunter, which is a comparison I've heard a lot of people making. I mean, sure, there's some similarities, I suppose, but not enough to justify saying something like, this is Tales from Arise meets Monster Hunter. The bosses don't feel like anything super special or unique as far as lumbering huge video game enemies go. And you can target different parts of their body, but I didn't find it made any difference, at least in the demo. Maybe that'll change. Now being a JRPG, I assume this thing is gonna be all about the story, very story driven. I didn't get a sense for that really at all in this demo. There was a story section to play through, but there wasn't much in there. Essentially, you just had to go to different locations and rescue different groups of people. 
The vibe felt really campy, which is fine, by the way. I have no problem with camp. Camp is fine, but if it never shows itself to have any edge, like you see in something like Xenoblade, I'm worried that it might fall a little bit flat, but I don't know. I mean, listen, it's important to note, this is all about the demo. That's all I've played. The trailer that plays after you finish the demo makes me think that there is maybe a lot more going on here story-wise and that things might in fact get a little grittier. In fact, watching that trailer afterwards, which looked very cool, I was like, hey, this looks much better than what I played. So is it just good marketing? Or was the demo just not a true representation of what it's like to play the game? It's actually much more fun and more tactical and whatever. Who knows, maybe the combat gets much more tactical and strategic down the line and it won't just feel like button mashing. I hope so, honestly, I hope so. Truly, I want every game to be amazing, especially with the massive amount of work put into each of these things. Have you played the demo yet? What do you think? Are you excited for this one? Let's chat about it in the comments. And smashing the like button and subscribing really does help our small but mighty little channel grow. All right, see you next time. And don't forget to have fun.